What's up guys? Today I'm going to be taking you through the three most important supplements you should be taking right now if you want to maximize your results in the gym. If you're looking for supplements to help you lose weight or gain some muscle, these three supplements are going to be the perfect ones for you. Now before we get further into the video, let me give you a quick heads up. Supplements aren't your end all and be all. For the most powerful supplement, you will only gain a small amount of benefits from. And these benefits can easily be wasted from a poor diet or poor training exercise routine. As a legend, Dr. Lane Norton puts it, you can't outrun a shitty diet. He even made this pyramid right here to show you that all these little factors must be completed before even seeing some sort of benefits from supplements itself. So do be mindful that consistency and actually getting to the gym and having a routine that works for you is gonna be first priority before taking any of these supplements. If your diet is off, if your training is off, make sure you fix those first. If you think going to supplements is gonna give you the magical results that you're looking for, you're gonna be wasting a lot of time and a lot of money. Now let's get into the supplements that we're gonna be talking about. Number one, first supplement, we got whey protein is whey protein. Now you knew I was gonna say it, so I had to come out with it on number one. Whey protein is probably one of, if not the most important supplement you can take. Now let me tell you why this is so important as I've put it so far. Protein is the building block for muscle. Without adequate amounts of protein daily, you'd almost be wasting your training sessions as your body has no proteins to actually build this muscle tissue and repair. If I could say an analogy, it's like trying to build a house with no building supplies. A common myth surrounding whey protein is that it's unnatural and artificial. This is false. Whey protein is the natural protein derived from cow's milk. Cow's milk has two components, casein and whey. Whey is the watery liquid that's left over after casein, which is also made for cottage cheese, once it's separated from the cow's milk. Whey protein has the following benefits. It's effective at triggering muscle protein synthesis, which is the process of building new muscle tissue. It also has a high leucine content. Leucine is the amino acid that helps with muscle repair and building new muscle lean tissue as well. Whey protein leucine content sits at about 10 to 13%, whereas red lean meats will top out at about eight to 9%. And whey protein is also a very easy and affordable way to hit your daily protein intake. A high protein diet has proven to help with fat loss diets and obviously building new lean muscle tissue as protein is the building block for lean tissue. So there you have it. These are the benefits for whey protein. Now we're gonna head off to our second supplement that you should be taking if you wanna maximize your results in the gym. Let's go. Supplement you should be taking. Number two is coming in with creatine. Yes, this white magical substance that almost looks like a drug you shouldn't be taking. Now, any parent, innocent child will find this under their son's bed and go, oh my God, what is my son doing? My innocent child has now turned to the dark side. That's not what this is about. A lot of people think that it's some sort of a steroid. Creatine is some sort of the steroid. They're absolutely wrong. Creatine is one of the most researched sports supplement on earth. Creatine works by saturating your muscle with additional ATP. ATP is also referred to as the body's energy currency. When we perform any exercise related activity, we use this energy currency called ATP. The body can only produce so much of this before we start to see a decline in performance. What creatine does is it helps with additional energy by increasing your ATP energy production. Therefore, it helps naturally create more energy for your workouts to maximize your sessions to see more progress. Does creatine make you gain weight? My answer is yes. Does it make you fat? No, it does not. Creatine may cause weight gain due to its water retention tendencies as it pulls water into the muscles. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. This just means that you'll have a greater pump when you're actually exercising. And your muscles will also look more fuller as well. If you don't like the weight gain effect, then you can always just stop taking it. Creatine has the following benefits. It increases strength. It improves athletic performance. It increases lean body mass. And it also helps with recovery as well. So it's an all round supplement that does you nothing but good. And I would highly recommend taking this on a day to day basis. Read the instructions on the back for your doses and how much you should be taking. Now we're moving on to our third supplement that you should be taking to see maximum results in the gym. The third supplement comes in with caffeine. 
Now I'm sure a couple of you watching this video right now can't function without one of these bad boys a day. Now caffeine, you can find it in your coffee and you can also find it in all of your pre-workout that you take as well. You can even buy caffeine tablets which are available. Now caffeine is an interesting one. Caffeine works by blocking the adenosine receptor. Adenosine is what builds up throughout the day and this is what sends signals to your brain of feelings of fatigue or sleepiness. By blocking this receptor using caffeine, it makes you feel more alert and awake. Can caffeine cause anxiety? No, you can't get anxiety directly from caffeine itself, but caffeine can make your anxiety symptoms worse. Now, let me go over a few examples of some anxiety symptoms. Fast heart rate, rapid breathing, insomnia, restlessness, digestive issues, trembling, and etc. I think these are quite close to the side effects of caffeine although to a very milder degree, which may mimic the feeling of you having an anxiety or something similar. Whereas in reality, it's just the side effects of caffeine. The benefits of caffeine include it improves performance, it increases energy, it increases strength, and it also helps manage fatigue. Caffeine is also an appetite suppressant. What I mean by this is say, if you're going through a weight loss journey, sometimes having caffeine can help keep those cravings and feeling the feeling of being hungry at bay. So it's also a great supplement for weight loss purposes. Now those are the three supplements you should be taking to maximize your progress in the gym, whether it is building muscle or losing fat. Now I hope you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or like, subscribe, comment, do anything you can. I would really appreciate it if you could support this channel. I'm gonna be posting videos much more regularly every Monday from now on, so I would love to see your support. Um, so thank you very much and I will see you guys in the next video.